Hello guys, welcome back. My name is Phil Marriott. Now I'm delighted to have a very special guest today to talk about a Donna Summer themed competition that I have um, been collaborating with Joe Giant Oates, who's a very good friend of mine. We go way back. But let me do the introduction first because the competition is to do with this album, which is celebrating a 40th anniversary for the 1980 album, The Wanderer. I've got a fantastic competition with Pete Bellotti, who is responsible for this with Giorgio Moroni, teamed up with him to produce and co-write this album with Donna back in 1980. We are also doing a DJ stream on Sunday on my Twitch channel, if you want to join me for that, seven o'clock in the evening, that's GMT time. And also, we're giving away some fantastic art and the woman who's responsible for this art is Joanne Oates. She is a freelance creative director and she hosts the Outvertising podcast where she interviews inspiring LGBTQ plus people from the media industry. And she was also a presenter and uh, also Joe in the know on Gaydar Radio. We go back, what, 10 years ago? Was it 10 no, 12, years ago? 12 that? years ago, 12 years ago when Blimey. I met you in Gaydar Towers. Yeah. And we, sh we we bonded over our love of Kate Bush, I think I remember. Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> I can't believe it's 12 <laughs> years ago. It doesn't feel like it. It feels like yesterday, doesn't it? But yeah, yeah, crazy times. Anyway, this is really exciting because we are collaborating on this. I'm so thrilled that you have joined up with me to do this. This is the art, which we'll come on to more in just a moment. But yeah. tell me about how you got into painting, first of all. Yeah, so um, I mean, I've, I've painted like all my life since I was a kid but I mean I've worked in the creative industries for over 20 years now I was a journalist broadcaster obviously I was a gay dar but also in advertising mainly as a creative director and um whilst all those jobs are great you know when you do your own projects when you do your own creations they're the ones that you really feel the most passionate about and I uh, got back into painting seriously probably last year but it's because of lockdown this year and um, having a bit more time on my hands um, th uh, that's how I've started to take my painting a bit more seriously so I've started selling my stuff online at my website which is jroatsart.com uh, and yeah it's getting a really good response I've done uh, quite a few like of these little series um which um we'll obviously talk a bit more about the donna one in a moment but i did um, a whole series for bisexual visibility day so i did these whole paintings for um bisexual flag for that in um october and then um i've done a whole like giveaway to do with halloween which is called dark horizons i love those yeah, and you can go on the website. There's whole, there's loads, loads more of those sort of coming up in the next few weeks as we get nearer to Christmas. But yeah, I love, I love, I love painting. I love color. Um, it's, it's just mostly abstract, um, and yeah, I just find it a really, really um, cathartic thing to do. But also, I think it's the best way I sort of express myself. There's a lot of things that you can express like in art that sometimes you can't always express in other ways. So it, it, yeah, I just, I can't, I can't see a time where I'm not going to paint now, which is really exciting. Well, I think it's a win-win situation because it's, you know, good for you because you're loving being so creative, but also for us as well, because these are dark times and we're screaming out for a bit of colour and a yeah, bit of positivity. Exactly. So this is the piece, it's Summer Wandering, so beautiful. It's obviously inspired by the album, but you can totally see that because the colours are the same, but it's very unique. It, it, each of these pieces are uh, exclusive and independent and in, you know, they're, they're unique, aren't they? Because you've done, you've done 12 pieces for us to give away. Yeah, I've created 12. You've got to, you've got 10 to give away. So um, uh, it's basically um, the way I work is that um, I, I'm inspired by a lot of things, but music is actually a huge part of, of what I'm inspired by. And, you know, I really sort of immerse myself in the world of the music or whatever I'm creating. So, um, you know, it's looking at the album cover, which is completely iconic. You know, it's got this really hot pink kind of like vibe to it. It's very much of its time. But, you know, she's she's in a kind of pivotal part of her career here. So she's dancing around different genres. There's still a little little bits of elements of disco in there. But, you know, there's also little bits of pop and rock and there's, there's um, you know, the running for cover on there, which is sort of sort of dancing around in with rock opera. It sounds a bit like Bat Out of Hell, which had just <laughs> come out, I think. Um, and, you know, there's sort of some more electronic stuff going on. Uh, we've got Grand Illusion, which I absolutely love that track. It's just it's sort of a sort of synth wavy, new wave kind of thing. Um, and so she's being a bit experimental and obviously that, you know, didn't go down that well with some of her fans. But I think revisiting the album 40 years later, 
there's so much to love about it you know it's very danceable it's very like curious and exploratory and um I, I just loved revisiting it and I just loved like immersing myself in it and and also finding out a bit about the background to it because that's the story behind things is always what inspires me as well so yeah there's the colors in there but there's lots of textures and movement which are, are all sort of taken from aspects of the album so you're so right about it feeling of its time as well because this is the start of the decade that I love it's my favorite decade the 80s and I know you're a big fan of 80s music yes. as well yeah but this was 1980 yeah and let's not forget also that you say that that is of its time the the imagery the artwork on that album but it feels really current doesn't it because so many yeah. people are inspired by by that decade particularly when you see uh, tv shows like Stranger Things it's all very synth it's all very neon and colors yeah and also you know I'm 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 abstract artist mainly and I'm influenced by sort of Kandinsky and uh, Lee Krasner but also street art and pop art which you know a lot of street art at that time was really coming into its own and being appreciated in the art world so those colours that are used a lot in street art and also just that sort of splashes of colour and splatters and movement it's it's that's what's inspired me and you can kind of feel that energy a little bit in the album i'd love to see you do more of these for other artists w would you do those would you consider doing other artwork for from album covers yeah i mean i've i've got a series on my website called sounds of space where i've started to experiment with song lyrics and and i'd love to sort of uh you know if there's any other record companies or publicists or artists even out there who would love to collaborate please please get in touch because i love taking inspiration from music because um my 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 album collection, and I have an actual vinyl album collection, is is um, is very eclectic. So I'm not particularly wedded to any genre, which is another reason why this album is so great because it's just it's very eclectic, like my, my music taste. So uh, yeah, and anything goes really. I love I love I love music in all forms. So and you mentioned touch. your your socials and your website. Uh, it's J R Oats Art. That's the yes. company that you founded. This is a very beautiful gift that you sent me for my birthday, which is, and you're going to pronounce it for me because I always get it wrong. Yeah, it's Atomistic Horizons. There we go. <laughs> so um, it's about, um, atomistic just means like things that are, you know, are sort of made up of atoms. And it's a bit like that thing of, um, you know, we are all made of stars. We're all made of atoms. So it's just, but it's a way that we move around and we like look at things in different ways. And and a lot of those horizon pieces I do are all about that. So there's lots of textures and different colors and it's just looking at things in a different, different perspective. And people can find you at your website and also all over social media. And you're very yeah. Instagrammable. That's the good oh, thing I'm about this art. I am very Instagrammable and yeah. I'm on Instagram at jroatsarts. Uh, two T's, but I'm mean, sure I'll be sharing these with the video. But um, yeah, get in touch. Uh, subscribe to my website. I'm actually going to be doing some amazing offers next week for Black Friday, um, which is for subscribers only. So please sign up for that on the website. Um, but yeah, doing lots more work in the next few weeks. So it'll be very busy. Um, but also next year, going back to the music thing, I'm actually planning to do some, some Kate Bush inspired pieces um very much work in progress at the moment so um, more on that soon so stay tuned that very much ticks my boxes <laughs> as yeah. you well know yes i do love some kate bush yeah 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 uh, and also Björk as well i'm wearing a Björk t-shirt maybe you could oh there's a few Björk. of oh yeah there's a few of her album covers i definitely like to have a play around with so let's uh, let's see what we can do about that <laughs> fabulous well I, I strongly urge everyone to check out joe online uh, thank you so much for collaborating with me on this joe because i'm so excited to see where it's going to go next if you want to win this amazing artwork for the summer wandering uh, art and also obviously the competition to win the 40th anniversary this is the original by the way well this was the re repackaged album which came out a yeah. few years ago but there is a new one with pink yeah. vinyl and if you want to win that head over to my website which is philmarriott.net you know all the all the details all the links they're all down below anyway in the description box it's good to see you joe amazing to talk and absolute pleasure working with you on this look forward to seeing what happens excellent stay safe lots of love take care bye